Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to talk about waiting upon the Lord and decisions that we make in our life. You know how important it is to not know or have a lot of information about a situation? How many of us have been in a situation where we would have never gone in that direction if we knew certain things about it before we went in that direction, right? Sometimes that's God's will, and it's very important. That's why we quote that scripture often. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. See, the Lord wants us to be comfortable with trusting him. You can be in a situation right now, and there's many listening to this video right now that are in this very situation that I'm about to explain. You're going through all the steps that you've gone through, and all of a sudden, there's a wrench thrown into the situation. And the temptation is to believe the wrench or the thing that has stopped the motivation or stopped the wheels turning in that situation. You want to interpret the entire thing on that one thing that has paused it. And God is saying, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you experience all these different things in your life and not tell you that there's going to be some stops along the way. There's going to be some things along the way that are going to seem like it stops all of it. But God does not want you to interpret the entire thing that he's doing in your life through that one thing that's actually happening. He knew those things would happen. He knew it would happen that way. He knew all these other things would take place in your life very smoothly, and that one or two things would seem to stop it all or slow it down. He's doing that in part to get you to never lean on the things that seem to stop it. Do not interpret the whole with one part. Don't go in that direction. Just because the one thing slows it down or pauses for a little bit does not define the whole work that God is doing in your life. When you come up to, and you will, be in those kind of situations. When you have those experiences, remember not to interpret the work that God is doing or the whole thing that you're experiencing as that one thing that's delaying you from going forward. That is not the definition of the work. Remind yourself of what God has done so far the place that he has brought you, the things that he has caused to take place to bring you to this place in your life. Remind yourself of those things because the enemy wants you to define the whole, the whole work with the one part. And God wants you to always be mindful of what has happened so far to this point and not fall into the temptation to think, that that work is defined by one delay or two delays or something different than you anticipated, okay? Because God knew that if you knew those delays would happen, you would have not began to do this work with him in the first place. That's the reason why he, don't, he, does, he wants us to trust him. He doesn't want us to lean on our own understanding. So do not interpret the whole work with parts that seem to delay that work. Remind yourself today and think upon on those things that, that have happened to this point, that are good, that are things that you know that God's hand is in it. The delay is a part of the whole work. It is not the definition of the work. God bless you guys.